Welcome to the Forbidden Zone, Antarctica. Within its ice walls, anything can happen. Today, we follow a deep-sea probe as it descends into the dark abyss, searching for unknown life. This seemingly ordinary ice flow extends over 900 meters below the surface. As the probe descends along the ice wall, it captures an astonishing sight at just 50 meters. Sperm whales hanging vertically, suspended in a 15-minute waking sleep. As the depth and pressure increase, we reach 100 meters. The light from the surface vanishes. Yet incredibly, there is abundant life. When the submarine's searchlights switch on, billions of Antarctic krill swarm like a golden smokescreen. These tiny creatures, just 5 centimeters long, represent a total biomass of 700 million tons, supporting the entire Antarctic ecosystem. At 200 meters, a giant sea spider drifts by. In other oceans, this species is mere millimeters wide. Here, deep-sea gigantism makes it enormous. At 400 meters, a two-meter-long, glowing worm floats past like a living light stick. At 600 meters, a lone swordfish navigates the dark. Its eyes are as large as tennis balls, adapted for hunting in the pitch black. Even more bizarre is the cockeyed squid. Its left eye is three times larger than its right, constantly gazing up toward the faint light of the surface, while the smaller right eye scans the darkness below, a biological marvel for survival. We see the barrel eye fish, its head completely transparent and filled with fluid, allowing its eyes to look straight up through its own skull. At 800 meters, a two-meter-long giant squid suddenly latches onto the submarine's glass. They are aggressive, weigh up to 50 kilograms, and are known to be cannibalistic. At 1,000 meters, we enter eternal darkness. Here, alien-like creatures communicate using strange, blue, bioluminescent light, a language we cannot understand. At 1,500 meters, we encounter the legendary immortal jellyfish, a creature that can endlessly clone itself, forming colonies longer than a blue whale. At 1,700 meters, we drift through marine snow, a slow, constant fall of organic debris from the upper ocean, nourishing the creatures of the abyss. Finally, we reach the ocean floor. The probe's sonar detects an anomalous signal. The seabed erupts with methane bubbles and a dense, high-salinity liquid. And then, we see a sight you may never forget. Just ahead lies a massive brine lake, an underwater ocean sitting on the seafloor, lined with rows of ancient tube worms. It looks like another planet. As eels swim past the shore of the lake, it creates a surreal illusion, as if we are on land, not in the deep sea. As the creatures dive into the lake, a strange dread fills the scientists. What unknown world is hidden inside this brine pool?